Hello there and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Deepa Robbins from Designs by D and today I have two more Christmas cards to share with you. Now before I get started, I just want to say that I am a bit sick right now. It's nothing COVID related, just a typical cold and I just, I really have to get my video recorded before the weekend. So I really hope that it's not uh, too much of an issue and it doesn't mess up my recording too much and you guys are okay to listen to this. <laughs> so anyways, I have two cards today where I'm using monochromatic stamping. And what I'm going to be doing is creating one panel of stamping and then I'm going to cut it up and then use it to make two separate cards. So I think this is a really nice way to produce more than one card with a nice look because you're doing one panel and then splitting it up into two so you can make more of the same thing, which is great for Christmas cards, right? So the main stamp set that I'm going to be using today is the Alta New Build a Flower Poinsettia stamp set. This is a bit of an older one. I'm basically going to be using some grays to stamp this out and create a bit of um, a shadow image. So this gives it more of a monochromatic look in the gray color. So I'll be using these uh, inks from Altenew as well. The colors I'll be using are Silverstone, Industrial Diamond, and pure graphite. Now there is a lighter color in the set and if you wanted to make your panel a little less dark you could go start with the lightest color and use those three colors instead of using the darkest color like I'm using here. So all I did was kind of stamp out the poinsettia all along my panel and I'm stamping it off the edges as well. This is a five inch by seven inch panel and I was just showing you there that the key to lining up this stamp set is you have to line up the little center and then line up the points of the flower. And that gets you a really nice image. As you can see, I didn't use my Misty for this part. Um, I'm just doing some freehand stamping here. And because, I mean, I'm not stamping out the outlined image, and that's an important point to note here, when you stamp out the outline image, it makes your image just that much more crisp, right? And I wanted to create more of a softer effect. So I left that outline out and by doing that, you do get the softer edges of the flower spilling over into the white, which gives you that nice soft monochromatic type look. And with this panel, I really wanted to create uh, like a slate look, which kind of looks like it was actually hand drawn or maybe sketched out. This is what's gonna create the contrast between this and your metallic accents. So now I'm showing you I have the Sunny Studios Christmas trimming stamp set. Now, unfortunately, I can't find this anywhere. So I've linked some products that are close that give you an acorn image, like, sorry, not a pine cone image, like what I'm stamping here. So all of those are linked in my blog. You don't have to buy new products. You can just look at the stamp sets that you have and see what you have that might work for this. This just worked for me, and I'm sure I have some other sets with this with a pine cone in it, but this was just the right size to fit in between all these poinsettias that I stamped here. Now, this is a three layer set, so I'm using the same three layers that I use for my poinsettia to stamp this out. And as I said, I'm just freehanding it with my acrylic block. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, it's a soft look, so no one's going to really notice if you kind of stamped it a little off. Now, I've chosen this Altenew Peaceful Wreath set. Again, I can't find this. It's an older set by Altenew, but I really like it, so I haven't really gotten rid of it. For this one, I'm going to stamp it out in the two darker colors just to create that bit more contrast with the metallic accents that I'm going to be adding later on. And so I also stamped all these out. If you noticed in the Sunny Studio stamp set, there was a holly leaf in there I could have used as well. However, it was a bit too big to fit in my open spaces here. So this is what I chose to use. On top of that, I'm using these berries. So that's from the original poinsettia set. And I'll stamp those in any of the extra little areas. I mean, if you don't have any little stamps like this that you can use to fill in the white, you can just add little dots. Find some stamp sets that have like little circles in it. And a lot of stamp sets will have these as extras, as extra little stamps in there. And just go ahead and use those. Maybe you can find some little symbols, little squigglies, little lines. I don't know. Use your imagination. So here's where I'm cutting the panel up. I'm braced, sorry, I'm basically cutting it down into like a large triangle in the center and then two triangles on the edges. So that's going to give me my two cards. Now I have three pieces. If I really wanted, I could have made this into three cards, but it's really up to you and how much white you want to be showing on your card. So like I said, I wanted that soft look. 
So to kind of make this a bit more effective or show this a bit more, I chose to ink blend on the edges of this cardstock. So I'm using the Industrial Diamond ink, which is also one of the inks used in the stamping. And by blending the edges here, I'm again softening up this panel, getting rid of that stark contrast between the white and the grays and the darker grays. And this just really creates the softest look I could get. So now I'm gonna work on all my little accent pieces. I'm using this pop-up vignette poinsettia sleigh die from Spellbinders, the Amazing Paper Grace die of the month. This is an older set. I will link it in my blog. And also I do use a lot of the past sets from Spellbinders from the past kits because sometimes, I mean, I am subscribed right now, but before I wasn't, and there were a lot of sets that I just, I didn't have and I wanted to get, you could always, go ahead and click on the link that I have on the left panel of my blog. It is an affiliate link, I'll let you know that, but it basically takes you to all the past club kits that Spellbinders has, and you can pick whatever is available there. A lot of the sets that I use, as I said, are, from, are still available online. So as you can see, I put all those together. I kind of alternated between the matte gold and the mirror gold Sizzix cardstock there. And for the panel, I'm putting this together for the first card. I'm taking off those little backings of that double-sided adhesive and attaching these strips of Sizzix gold glitter cardstock. So this is going to help me make my panel stand out a little more on the white. So it's giving it a little bit of border and that metallic or that glitter gold is just going to make it really pop. So now I'm putting it down on my panel. Now this is actually a pearl gold from that Sizzix Opulent cardstock stack. And I've measured out, uh, sort of marked where I'm gonna be putting my panel so I can do some heat embossing for the sentiment. Now the sentiments I'm gonna be using today are using the Simon Says Stamp Stained Glass Greeting Stamp Set. This is an older set, but it is really a nice one. And I actually only got my hands on it maybe like last year, so I have to use it. So I'm gonna be using some Ranger Princess Gold embossing powder with this, and I will just heat set that with my heat gun. And when the embossing powder is fully melted to the paper, I will let it cool just a little bit, and then I can erase those pencil lines. Now, I noticed that the areas that I heated up, I couldn't really get the pencil line off, but it's not a big deal because I will be putting the panel over top and you won't really see it anyways. So here I'll attach the panel with my tape runner and I'm just gonna cut off all those little corners after I've taken off that strong double-sided adhesive that's really gonna stick that to the card. So once I cut off those edges, it has a really nice, clean, crisp look which really highlights that gray panel. It just really pops and stands out. I really like how that turned out. So for a bit of interest, I'm gonna add these little fronds. I cut them out from some shimmer vellum using the Spellbinders Kaleidoscope Hearts set. So as you can see, this is a Valentine's set that I used, but I like these little leafy fronds and it cuts out two at a time, so it saves me some time on die cutting. So I use this for a lot of my projects and this is another past club kit from Spellbinders. It's still available in the shop and will be available through that link on my blog. Now I'm just gonna stick down a bit of the edges. I've got these tiny little flowers, which are like small poinsettias that I have from this Spellbinders Always Welcome Door Base set. Again, this is the past club kit. Hit the link on the left sidebar of my blog. You can find it there. Now, I'm just gonna place a few like here and there, kind of double up some of them. And you can see it just creates a nice little cluster of poinsettias and small little flowers on my panel. Now for the next card, I'm using this Spellbinders Layered Poinsettia die set. I had this for a while and I just decided I wanted to use a different poinsettia so you get a bit of a different look. So I'm actually um, shaping these using my tool in one in the stylus tip and I'm just gonna attach them using my Barely Arts glue. Now that stylus tip really comes in handy when attaching these little layers in the center of a flower. So I always use it for that. As you can see with the previous poinsettias, I use that as well. So I have this die cuts with a few glitzy metallics cardstock and I cut these little copper strips from that set because I felt that my flowers were more copper than rose gold and I didn't want to use the rose gold 
sorry, the rose gold <laughs> glitter cardstock from Sizzix because it just didn't match well with the flowers and the embossing powder that I'm going to be using. So again, I've put my panels on the cardstock and I'm marking where they're going to go. They're not attached yet. I'm lining up my sentiment here. Again, it's the stained glass greeting sentiments from Simon. And I'm going to stamp those out and heat emboss them. And this time I'm going to use the Ranger Rose Gold Embossing Powder. Now, if you've looked at different rose gold embossing powders, they don't all look the same. So I recommend if you do have them, I have a few of them, make swatches of them because then you know what's going to match for your project. This has more of a copper color, I would say, which is why I chose the more copper colored uh, cardstock here. Um, I know that Altenew has a rose gold. Theirs is more gold. That's what I tend to find. And then there's also Simon Says. They have a rose gold and theirs is very red. Not red red, but it's like it's more like this red, this rose gold. It's got more of that reddish hue in it. So I'm just going to add all my little accents on there in the same fashion that I did the other one. This one, I kept it a bit more simple. I used only two poinsettias because I don't have that much room on my card. I'll add the little fronds for interest. And then I was going to add some more of those small poinsettia flowers, but I thought it was just a bit too much. The, the sentiment's pretty big here, so I'll let that be more of the focal point. Um, to jazz this up, just like I do with all of my cards, I'm using the uh, lolly beads that I constantly use on all my cards. These are AB and crystal. I use the crystal clear colors in the centers of the poinsettias, and then I use the AB colors, which basically shine like a rainbow bright of colors, on the rest of the card. And it just, it just really brings that shine to the card and I honestly have never seen any other gems shine like these do. So they're linked in my blog. As I mentioned, they're nail art gems. And they're like the greatest find <laughs> I found on Amazon. So they're, they're also not that expensive and they last a long time. So these are the products that I use today to create this beautiful card twice. I got, I got two cards out of one panel and I'm so happy about that. You can make a bigger panel and cut it down and make a bunch of cards at once. I mean, it's completely up to you. Maybe you want to cut like a circle from the center of your panel and have like a little frame on one card and then like a highlight circle on another. I mean, it's completely up to you what you want to do. And like I like to say for everything, the possibilities are endless. So go ahead and look at what you got lying around. I bet you don't even have to buy anything new and you could probably put these cards together easy. I hope you've been inspired today. I hope you liked my video. I'm sorry about the weird stuffy sounding me today, but um, I hope that you guys were able to get something from this video. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you can. Give me a like if you like this video and hit the notification bell to be notified of any other videos that I post. Furthermore, I will leave you with another video. I didn't show you how I designed the inside of this card. The video that I have here will show you the same design, just with different colors. All the products that I use are linked in my blog. And I hope that you guys have a great weekend and have fun making Christmas cards. All right, see you again. Bye.